Hey, what's up, Legend Sunset going? Queen Bacon here. Today, for the next showcase, I decided to play a new Hunter deck that was made by Somi Tequila, um, whose deck I played uh, more than once and are always pretty, pretty fun. Um, so I wanted to give this one a shot today. Um, it is called Hyena Hunter, and it runs around um, the hyena, and you can make it come out of barns. Um, you can also, you know, you uh, combo it with kindly grandmother uh, and things like that. It's it's pretty decent, you know, like hunting the hounds and everything. It looks pretty good, um, and I want to give it a shot. And in case that your your hyenas get wrecked early, well, you still have this uh, the high main and, and the call of the scale and everything. So you should be you should be pretty good anyway. But um, it looks like a good option, and um, I think I'm gonna have some some fun with this deck. So we should jump into the game and um, do some work here. So let's let's go to town. And, um, of course, like every Thursday at the end of the video, I will uh, get a winner for this week's giveaway. So that way, you know, you can, give some, you can get some card packs and everything should be pretty awesome. So let's give this a shot and afterwards give out some card packs. Let's do this. It's Rexa Okay, I'm sorry about the you know the bird the bird sounds and everything. Um, there was something playing in the background. I'm, I should just not have mentioned anything. You'd be like, birds? What? What's going on here? I kind of want to keep it, but I'm not going to keep it. It's not that great right now. Okay. The weapon is pretty decent here. Get in there and fight, Abusive. Do I... I think I coin out the grandmother. So that way we can trade it into the 2-1. Um, the and get... Uh, then you get two turn two on the board, which is pretty good. You love my new recipe. Ah, interesting. Interesting. Let's do this then. Trade it in here. Seems pretty good. You probably should not trade. That's a little bit better, yes. Back here. Awesome. Okay, animal companion. That's the best one. Awesome. Great. This looks like a good board state. I have barns. I also have bow. I'm happy about that. That's yeah, pretty good. I think I'm gonna bow next turn. Bow and bat. Yeah. Hmm. Or bat and I don't know. I think I'm going to wait a little bit on that. I think I'm going to bow and bat, like I mentioned. Um, I'm going to trade here just because I'm not going to waste 4 damage. I'd rather waste 3 damage. And I don't want, you know, I don't want to trade in with the, the bear right now, just because that's a little annoying. Okay. Um, we 
can unleash here, I guess. It's a pretty good board state to unleash. Good at tracking. Oh, I've got to get the high main for next turn, I mean. Um, gonna clear. Gotta go face. And then high main turn. High main on turn 6. It's a pretty curve. Turn 7, I can Houndmaster ping or something like that. We'll see. Ah. Okay, well, he gets rid of his cards. That's a thing. Oh, okay. That's gonna be pretty strong. So I've gotta get rid of this uh, Doom Guard. Ah. ah, that's kind of annoying. Till so next turn, next turn we have the Infested Wolf. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so we have Call of the Skill. So that dies. Okay. Always oh, get another one. Interesting. Oh, well then. You know, I would have went full face at that point. Um, but that's just my opinion. Trade in Huffer, because he has a little bit less health. And we look all good right now. I do not think there is much you can do as the um, Izu. When Call of the Skill comes in play, there is not much, unless you already have a crazy board stay. But if the board is empty, or almost empty, and it hits, you're in trouble. So that was pretty good um, as a first game. I didn't get, of course, I didn't get to play the Hyena. But, yes, it is good in the deck, but um, it is not the win condition of this deck. It is good against aggro, because you can trade in most of your minions, but apart from that, you do not need the Hyena to win the game. It is fun, it is good. But you don't need it. Like I don't need those cards right now. Is my cat dead? Okay, no, she's not dead. I really thought the cat was dead. She was just laying on her back with her head on the side and her tongue out. <laughs> I was like, you dead there? Okay, um, that's the turn two. I think I'm going to wait until I play Hyena. Because I don't think it's... I mean, yeah, he has the weapon. So it's good after Infested Wolf. If you can trade everything. Right now it's, it's not so great. But if I can play Infested Wolf next turn, it should be pretty decent. Now, it is a bit annoying if your your opponent um, or I could Barnes if, if he doesn't use the weapon. I mean, Barn is a four three, and it summons a one one. So depending on what he's gonna do, it might survive. Yeah, I think it's better to play Barnes. Ooh, that's a great one to get off of Barnes. Especially with the Hyena. That's awesome. Slam, Axe. That's, that's pretty damn good. Okay, well, um, 
Ooh. I think I'm gonna play Wolf. I'm gonna wait for him to play something and then play both Ienas and the Kindly Grandmother and just go in. We'll see. Okay, so we can do this. Um, hyena, hyena, attack, 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 quick shot. Yes, is gonna give him the you know, good stats on on his Katoon. It's gonna give him plus four, but I'm getting two eight fives. That's pretty scary. That is pretty scary. Now they can attack. They cannot attack on the turn we play them. But I doubt that he has both executes or something similar. Maybe sh shield block, shield slam, shield slam. Is that a thing? Okay, that's one. The other one gets buffed though. That's pretty good. Okay, we are going to play the Howlmaster here. I do not want to... Um, I'm going to play a bat as well, I guess. And then shot. Look at this beautiful hyena. It is so big. And then we also have Eagle Horn, and he has to attack into this Taunt Spider before he gets to this first. So I think we got this. Unless he has Brawl or something, but... Uh, there, there usually is one Brawl in Cthulhu Warrior, I think. I'm not sure. I never played it. But I think there is one Brawl. Slime execute. That's a great option. Now we still need a lot of damage with it. And unless he has something to protect himself, we might have this. Ah, oh yeah, we got this. Awesome. Do you see? I did get the hyenas. Awesome. The hyenas are extremely strong. Uh, 285 on turn 6. Yes, it has lower health, but 85, and you got two of them at the same time. It is pretty scary. Just just to put that in perspective, there is a 7444 that puts a uh, you take seven damage in your deck and that's for four now on turn six we had two minions with two more you no know, two more stats each and that was just two turns later so that was pretty good because we had time to develop the board and everything before that I like this um, I'm gonna keep you don't, you don't want to keep Hyena, really. I mean, if you already have turn 1s and turn 2s and everything, but I don't. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. Do I do like huge yeah, pass, huge toad, coin, barns or something? Or turn 2, coin, animal companion, animal companion. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. At least it's not Huffer, so it doesn't die instantly. Okay, is it a Freeze Mage? It doesn't look like it is a Freeze Mage. Okay. Okay, well, the Eagle Horn seems pretty decent here. Barnes next turn. Yeah, 
And I really like the Infested Wolf pull. That's usually extremely strong. Uh, let's see, Barnes. Ah, uh, well. I'm gonna attack into it because, you know, I'm out of weapon. So, just wanna deal a little damage to it. Oh, yeah. I see, I see. Missiles, okay. And be nice if I could pull out the Huffer here. Huff, Huff. Huffer? Huh. Oh well. I tried. If the Ark doesn't die, we have a chance of unleashing something pretty decent. I think he might die though. Does he have like Frostbolt or something in there? That would also pretty. That would suck pretty bad. Oh. Okay. Um, well, first of all, I'm going to unleash. I'm going to attack here. I'm going to attack here. I'm going to attack your face. I can, next turn, if I want, to Tundra Rhino, Huge Toad. And then Call of the Wild turn 8. But it depends what he plays. If he's, I'm pretty sure he has a bunch of fireballs, which is extremely scary. Okay, maybe not. Okay, that doesn't seem so bad. Rhino, huge toad. Attack here. Attack here. Attack here. Attack here. I want to keep this alive. So that way the call of the wild next turn is just devastating. That would be ridiculous. But it might... Yeah, it's gonna die. Menagerie Magician. Alright, that's fine. Okay. Well, this dies. This dies. You have two cards, and I also have two cards, but my two cards are better than your two cards. Most likely. Okay. Uh, please do not get a fireball. Come on. Talos. Okay. Torch. Come on, dude. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, you're going for my face? Well, I guess that's, I guess that's a thing. Um, quick shot. As long as he doesn't get his millions of fireballs. But, I mean, I did make him draw. I just don't want the spell damage on board, though. I really don't want that. Okay, that's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. No, that's not enough. Um, I'm gonna play this here. Doesn't really matter at this point. Now, all I need to do is survive this one turn. If I do, I win. But if any of those two cards is a fireball or a torch, I am very dead. Fortunately, he's got the torch. Snap. I was close. That was very close. Oh well. I mean, I am not too, you know, too sad about this. The deck is definitely very strong. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed watching the video. I would definitely recommend for you guys to play the Hyena Hunter. Um, I'm going to post the link to the deck list in the description. Again, it was made by Somi Tequila. Uh, so Tequila, thank you very much for this deck. 
Um, apart from that, like I mentioned earlier, today was the um, day of the giveaway. So I am just going to check here. Okay. And it looks like this week's winner is no click. Uh, no click, I will uh, send you a PM. So um, please reply to that um, in, in the next day or so. So that way I can give out to you the, uh, the card packs. Um, and um, thanks for participating, everyone. Uh, better luck next week if you didn't win. Hopefully, you'll be one day able to win those card packs. And apart from that, leave a like in the description. Uh, is that a thing? I just leave a like, share, subscribe, whatever. I don't care that much at this point. You guys know the drill, right? Um, should be all good there. So, yeah, I'm done here. Um, I just want you to, uh, you know, keep watching the videos, and uh, I'll see you next week. Thanks a lot.